the colorful, unhinged characters who've come to prominence in the political era of Donald Trump, our next guest is probably the most enthusiastic to help him overcome his debilitating fear of machines. We have installed him inside a claw machine for his interview tonight. And joining us now from the corner of Donkey Kong and Qbert, the My Pillow guy, Mike Lindell. Hello, Mike. Jimmy Crumble, is that you? It's me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Mike. First question, Mike, is why do you think people don't take you seriously? Well, I, you know, I want to tell you this, Jimmy. Remember okay. when we were kids and uh, we questioned these carnival games, whether they were rigged or not? Yeah, right. But when, but when we spoke up back then, I, we didn't get sued, did we? No, that's right. Hey, Mike, get rid of that kid. Will you give him a toy or something like that? There you He's go. You got a winner. It's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. It's a rigged game. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, I know that you're distrustful of machines. Now that you're inside one, do you feel differently? No, same thing. There's, so there are computers can be rigged out there, yeah, absolutely, in elections. You know that. Did you ask Donald Trump uh, whether you should do this or not? Do you run this sort of thing by him? No, I didn't, Jimmy. I did this all on my own. I wanted to be on your show. You, you, you know, you kept telling me to come on, but you, you know, I seen the monologue there. You said it's because to put me in here because I was wasn't vaccinated. You tricked me. You did it to be funny, huh? Yeah, no, I didn't. No, I didn't want you in there because you weren't vaccinated. I don't know. <laughs> to be honest, I don't even remember why I decided you should be in there. Just, <laughs> no, you said it on your show. It seemed like a good idea when it happened. I have to say, I was very surprised when you said. You would do it, but you know, I put it out there, and so you said yes. So yeah. I, you know, I'm honoring that commitment that I well, made no, on the air. Great. 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 Great <laughs> so last week, Mike, you uh, actually during the weekend, you you ran for chairman of the Republican National Committee. This is the committee that uh, is kind of in charge of fundraising. It decides where the money goes. It's a very powerful group. Correct. And you seemed, by my count, very confident that you had a chance to win this thing. Let's look at the tape. I'm running for chairman of the RNC, and I plan on winning. And you know what? I plan on winning. I want to win that RNC chair. We're ahead in every single poll out there. I'm 100% all in, and when I go all in, I go all in to win. I just want to win, everybody. Not only am I going to win, but we're going to, it's going to change real fast. Are you confident that you can win? Yeah, absolutely. A lot of them are going, do you think you can win? Do you think you win? Of course I'm going to win. Mike, some of the polls show you winning this. Oh, yeah, yeah, they all do. Now, Mike, the poll actually did show you as the favorite, right? The Rasmussen poll. That's correct, yep. And then this happened. Mike Lindell received four votes. Harmeet <laughs> Dillon received 51 votes. And Ronna McDaniel received 111 votes. Now, does this seem like an indication that maybe your barometer when it comes to voting is off? No, what it seems like, Jimmy, is that the RNC did, that their representatives didn't listen to the people of our country that wanted a change in the RNC leadership because I was the top of all the polls. I almost doubled both of them combined in the Rasmussen report, which came out last Thursday, the day before the vote. So they, you know, I didn't realize that they, uh, you know, that they would, I would think that they would have went with what the people wanted because they represent the people. Do you believe this was a rigged election too? No, absolutely not, Jimmy, because there was no machines involved. It was paper ballots hand counted. Right, okay. So um, you lost, you would have lost either way, I guess is what you're saying. <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd have had machines, like somebody could have filled with the numbers, right? You distrust machines. Um, does that is can does that extend to like sewing machines? Uh, yeah. Tell me, like, are what about ice machines? Are you okay with those? Jimmy, I, you know what? I'm you know you can you can make fun of that, but we know the machines I'm talking about are voting machines, computers used in elections because we want to have elections and not selections. So not like the George Foreman lean mean grilling machine would not be on your list of things to melt down and make into prison bars. No, no, just the voting machines. We got enough of them to melt down into prison bars. Gloria Stefan and the Miami the Sound part. Machine. They, they're cool, right? What's that? I said Gloria Stefan and the Miami Sound Machine. I can't hear you, Jimmy. I can't hear you. You've ch you've I'm sorry. Up. It turns out you're locked inside a claw machine. <laughs> <laughs> You know, one of the differences between you and the claw machine is claw machines let go. And you will not let go of this voting thing, will you? Never. I want to save, I want to help save our country. And 
I love our country. I love the people in our country. And uh, we've got to get rid of the computers in our, in our elections. Mike, I have to tell you, and I mean this sincerely, I believe that you, that you believe this stuff. I believe that you are really convinced that, that I mean, uh, the evidence that you've presented is nonsensical, but I do believe that <laughs> that you are convinced that there is some kind of a conspiracy or malfunction or whatever the case may be. I don't believe that Donald Trump believes that. I think Donald Trump is lying when he says he thinks the election was rigged. I think uh, Giuliani is lying when he says it. I think Kerry Lake is lying. I think for them, these are just excuses for losing an election. Uh, what do you say to that? Well, I say, um, Jimmy, no judge in the United States has looked at the evidence. They've all kicked the can on standing. No one has ever looked at the evidence based on merit. And isn't that, uh, I'm isn't just going to keep sounding the alarm until somebody looks at it. We gave it to the Facebook fact checkers, Alan Duke. He looked at it and he won't. Now he just went away because he knows it was true. But the I Supreme say to you, Court. Jimmy, I'll give, I'll yeah. give the evidence to you. We'll okay. come back two months later. I'll pay for your cyber guy if the, if the show can't afford it. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll have him check it out. You know, you're getting a big audience tonight, so you could afford it. Mike, Great. I'll bring Mike, you the you see that? You see that little girl we'll with, the, the show. with that little girl with the overalls on? That's our cyber guy. <laughs> <laughs> You're looking yeah. good. I knew you would. <laughs> How much has this crusade cost you personally, Mike? Uh, over forty million, and that's counting building your great network you watch all the time, Jimmy that's right. Lindell TV. That's part of the cost. I'm your number one fan. Yes, that's you for are. sure. There's no question about that. You, uh, your my pillows used to be in Costco. They used to be in Walmart. They used to be in Hello. Macy's, Bed Bath I'm and Beyond, etc. Right Where the heck are they? Hello? <laughs> is anybody? Where the heck is Faye? Oh. Who? Ah. Oh my goodness! It's another Mike Lindell. Oh no, no, not Jimmy! It's Jimmy Crumble. I can't handle. <laughs> it right now. I don't got time for you. I'm looking for the law offices of Dave and Busters. Well, no, Mike, da my, Dave and Busters isn't a law firm. It's uh, like a Chuck E. Cheese for adults who enjoy wrestling. Well, I'm being sued for $1.3 billion and I need some representation. So it's right, right here in the law. So... <laughs> <laughs> Jingling Jehoshaphat, how did I get in there? What kind of dark magic is that play? <laughs> you, Mike, you agreed to be, well, one of the mics agreed to be interviewed in the claw machine, so. I knew it! It's a machine! It's the Antifa Chinese devil crazy, and they trapped me inside. Don't worry, you sweet boy. I got, I got a pillowcase full of quarters right here. Here, try, here, try the machine. Here, it's rigged. Here, it's rigged. No, it's it's no. the animals. You can't put, they take oh, credit right. cards. They don't take, um... Pillowcases, uh, Mike. I'm self sorry. Self defense. That's, that's just a self defense technique. Yeah, okay, all right. <laughs> I'm not going to use no card on these. I'll get you. Don't here, worry, me. I'll get you. Here, it's, a rig, boy. it's a rigged machine. The animals are. You jammed out. it up. The door's not going to work. I just need you're another winning. bag of pillows. You're winning. You're, you winning. Have you're have an, winning. You have another <laughs> pillowcase full of quarters? I eat all of my suppers out of vended machines. You know that as much as I do. Shield your eyes. I'm coming for you. I'm going to get you back in that ice hole real quick. <laughs> Let's smash this crab grabber to smithereens! <laughs> right. Don't it's, hurt Mike. Right. Just come on. And security, it's, please get the other Mike yeah. Lindell out of this. Come on. Yeah. Mike, one more thing. Have you what do you have you met this guy, George Santos? No. What do you think of him? Wait, is that the guy that was just here? No. <laughs> That's a different guy. <laughs> All right, Mike. Well, thank you, Mike, for, um, you know what? I have to say, um, one thing about you is you are definitely committed, and you should probably be committed, to be honest with you. But, uh, Mike Lindell, everybody, the My Pillow guy. Thanks for having me on, Jimmy. We'll be right back with Fallout Boy. Put on back.